Hey what is going on everyone this is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 14. Even though we're like 7 or 8 months away from it being released on its first beta, there are news regarding the process of the development of iOS 14 so in this video we're gonna address that and see what we can expect from iOS 14. As we have all witnessed, iOS 13 had a pretty rough release. Like from the first betas, we can see that because Apple didn't allow people to install it over the year using the profile, you had just to use like a dev account and your computer, your Mac computer in order to do that. So with the first betas of iOS 13, we could see that it was not very stable and there have been a ton of bugs. And then the public release, followed immediately by iOS 13.1 we could just see that there are a ton of bugs and this software was not that stable at all there was like problems with the cellular signal like not being that well also UI problems email problems and the latest one with the RAM management where you could like just go out of the app when you go back on it you will have to reload the app that was Really, really frustrating, of course, that has been fixed with the first beta of iOS 13.3. And of course, then Apple also released iOS 13.2.2, I believe it was, which fixed that very, very big problem. Now, according to this latest report by Bloomberg, all this has happened because of the process of the creation of iOS 13. So like teams would just add features and then other teams would like contribute on that weekly. So this software just got like a ton of features, a ton of changes and it was cramped. And of course that made it very, very difficult to create a stable like software. That's where the bugs happened. And of course on the public release, we could just see that it wasn't ready, but things are changing with iOS 14. Now, according to this report, iOS 14, which was, which is codenamed Azul, will be coming with a big change. So the development process of iOS 14 will be totally different and we can expect iOS 14 to be way more stable since beta one. So the process will change completely and of course that will be the same on the, basically the same case for iPad OS and also watch OS, TV OS and Mac OS as well. So the whole process of the creation of the new software, according to this report by Bloomberg will be different and hopefully we won't see those huge bugs. Now, of course you can expect to see bugs on beta stages, but on the first release, the public release, and maybe on the second one, but then like it goes on and on with iOS 13, we can see that there are just a ton of bugs being like discovered daily on iOS 13. So hopefully iOS 14 will be way more stable from, from the beginning. So let's wait and see for that. Hopefully this new process will contribute and we will have a better experience since the first betas of iOS 14, which you can expect to be released on the beginning of June 2020. So that's it for this video guys, iOS 14 will be coming on its first betas on June 2020. Hopefully we will have the chance to get our hands on it and of course discover all the new features. Thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next one.